What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com, creator of the Outright Bar, as well as partner in Ambrosia and Iron Addicts Gym in Long Beach, California. So I'm going to make this short. I'm going to make this sweet. Um, I almost, almost, almost was mentioned on Joe Rogan's podcast yesterday. There's a picture of him sitting at his desk holding a hundred pound dumbbell up in the air and bodybuilders are calling bullshit. And I was pretty damn excited about it. Um, I got a bunch of messages. Hey, is he talking about you? Is he talking about you? And it's actually pretty cool because as you guys know, Joe Rogan can literally make fun of my wife, make fun of my kids and even call my mama names. I'm still a big fan of Joe Rogan. So just being on his podcast, and having him say that I was just looking for attention is actually an honor because I will be honest, and I was 100% honest, I was completely grifting um, with that Cuomo video. Everybody in the fitness industry knew that Chris Cuomo was not overhead pressing or tricep extending 100 pound dumbbells. Everybody knows that. Everybody in the industry knows the weight was fake. However, based on a lot of tweets and a lot of messages I saw, a lot of people, and also after I posted the video, a lot of people who aren't from the fitness industry did think that that 100 pound dumbbell was legit. So there's a picture circulating of Chris Cuomo from CNN, chilling at his desk, typing one hand with a 100 pound dumbbell overhead. A hundred people were at least not convinced that it was a fake. Now Joe Rogan actually proves my point even further. Okay. This is where we get our news in America. No, is there's a photo and he's wearing a t-shirt. This is different. That's real. That's a real weight. Being a man involved in fitness and a man who I respect greatly. And Joe Rogan went out and said that there is a definite possibility that Chris Cuomo could have been lifting 100 pounds over his head while typing on a computer, which in my opinion is absolutely absurd. And the words he used, and I can say this as Joe Rogan said, because he can say it, my wife is Italian, okay? Her fa family's from Sicily. So I believe uh, Joe Rogan says guineas are strong. Uh, Chris Cuomo is, <clears throat> look, I'm Italian, I could say this. He's a guinea. Right. A lot of those guineas are stupid strong. Okay. I believe those were his exact words. And again, I married an Italian, so I have full, full access to racism for Italians. That was a joke. I love Italians. I'm married. My kids are Italian. So anyway, what I'm getting at is Chris Cuomo, people think that that 100 pound dumbbell is legit. And I'll tell you this, you saw even Steve Kuklo, one of the largest bodybuilders, strongest men I've ever met, struggling with the 100 pound for shoulder press. And I'm not saying struggling, he got it. Can I get 100 pounds overhead? Absolutely, I can. However, I am bigger and younger than Chris Cuomo. So what I'm saying is Joe Rogan, first of all, thank you for mentioning, not even mentioning me, thank you for, I know you had it on because um, your guest actually read the title to the, um, to the video I had, um, which was actually really cool, really cool, I gotta admit, a bit starstruck, okay? I've had a lot of friends, Mark Bell, C.T. Fletcher on the Joe Rogan experience, I've never been on, never been on. So I'm a bit, I was, that was pretty cool. However, I will say that you guys gotta realize, you gotta see the forest through the trees. The whole point of that video was, okay, yeah, I was gonna call him out. Um, I really wanna raise money for charity. We've done it before, The Real Weights for Real Heroes. We're planning on doing one next year. And if Cuomo really did want to help people, I think he would oblige me and say, oh, you know what, I didn't lift the weight, but let's go ahead and do this. And I understand that that would be elevating me and that wouldn't be doing much for him, but it would be for a good cause. So absolutely, one of the reasons I did it is because I am on social, I don't lie. Like, I'm gonna be honest with my motives because it did get, dude, I was uh, I was on the Wilco Majority. Um, I was on a ton of things. I was mentioned all over the place. Um, the video that The Blaze TV posted on Facebook alone got 1.1 million views. And let's be real, anyone involved in any form of social media does look for that big kind of hit. And I did film that with the intention of it going somewhat viral, not gonna lie. I mean, come on, man. I'm not just doing social media 100% for my health. Um, I'm doing it a little bit for some notoriety, a little bit for some fun, and a little bit for some PR, 100%. So yeah, I was looking for attention. You're absolutely right, absolutely right. But the one thing I wanna come out of this is I want, one, I want people to realize that that's a lot of weight. 
If Cuomo does that weight, I will worship the ground he walks on. But I guarantee you the man cannot tricep overhead extend. And Joe Rogan believing that he can shows that my video was needed because that is an insult to bodybuilders and powerlifters and strongest men. It's like when this guy from our industry, his name is Brad Castleberry, went out and said that he's breaking world records left and right. It pissed off a lot of strong men and a lot of powerlifters who actually held world records. So I'm not saying that I was personally offended. I'm saying that I kind of spoke for our community and that, you know what? We do take what we do seriously. We put a lot of work into it. And to see someone, I'm sorry, someone kind of do that, it, it just, it minimizes the work we do in the gym because it makes it look like anyone can do it. Even an aging uh, anchorman from CNN. So that's all I'm saying. So what I want to do Number one is I want to just explain why that was really cool. I want to explain why this even validates further why the video needed to be done to prove that that is a lot of weight because even Joe Rogan was fooled by it. And number three, I'd like to, you know, make, have this discussion that sometime around April or May of next year when the weather gets nice, we have a huge event in Tennessee to benefit a charity um, that we choose. Last time we did Semper Fi Fund. Um, and we can find a new one. But with that said, thank you guys for watching. Joe Rogan, thank you for not mentioning me, but mentioning me. I know it was me, but uh, it was really cool. Thank you so much, guys. Again, follow me on YouTube or subscribe to this or whatever you do on YouTube. Like this video. Follow me on Facebook at Mark Lobliner, YouTube, uh, Instagram at Mark Lobliner, Twitter at Mark Lobliner. And of course, if you haven't tried them yet, try the Outright Bar. It's the greatest thing ever created. Perfect for student athletes, perfect for bodybuilders, perfect for kids, perfect for anyone looking for a delicious, healthy snack during the day, and that's not a game.